Alright, so today is a different kind of video than normal. Um, so we're going to be looking at molts or dead spiders under the microscope. And I found out you can actually hold the camera up to this and you can look through it. If I get the right angle. I'm going to keep trying. Yep. Uh, that's actually the head of a dead house spider you can see all the eyes and this is a really good microscope because there's the actual spider and now I gotta line this all back up again here give me a second alright so I, I've moved it over a little and now you can see the legs there I wonder if I can just move this while And move it while I'm recording. I haven't actually looked at the abdomen yet. It's kind of low quality here. Oh, crap. Oh, okay, there's some legs. And looking through a microscope with a phone is kind of weird. Okay, well, that's a, that's a house spider. Pretty cool. So now I'm going to try and look at a... Jesus. Yeah, flashing light warning. There, okay, I held it still for a couple seconds. You can see all of its eyes. And then next, we're going to be looking at a goblin spider. If I can find where I... But, it, but yeah, goblin spiders are really small, and I have one to look at under the microscope. Okay, this next one here is, I like to call it a skull cap, because it, excuse me, but yeah, it's just the top part of the head from a spider molt. Uh, this one is from a dark fishing spider. This one's the second molt from the one that I call Mini Muffin. And you can see the eyes there. Let's see if I can't move this a little. Scoot that container out of the way. And you can see six eyes. There's four big ones. Oh, there actually might be eight eyes. It's kind of hard to tell. But it looks like there's six eyes, or at least like eye covers. Then you can see the pattern on it. The pattern on it there. And it's not. They're not really quite as fuzzy as wolf spiders. Now that I'm looking at this. Yeah, there's no fangs on this part of the molt. I can try and look at them under a different part of it. Give me a minute. Alright, ooh, that is bright. What the heck happened? Is there a filter? Hold on, give me a second again. Sorry. Okay, I fixed it. I don't know what I did. Uh, ignore these. I'll probably look at one of the legs under the microscope. But these kind of fell off when I was trying to move the molt. And get a good look at the fangs. But here you guys go. Oh, come on, please work. Yeah, that's Minnie Muffin's fangs on her very first molt. They look a lot bigger under the microscope than they do in real life. And that's expected, but Jesus, can you not be so bright, please? There. Good look at them. And you take it out from under the microscope. Looks like that. You can still see the fangs in real life. Can I focus, please? Yeah, come on. If I zoom in. 
There you go. You can see the fangs in real life. But barely. I like this microscope. It's tiny. But it's really good. Now we're going to look at a leg under the microscope. And I can show you guys the little hooks on the end of them. Well, you can't see the hooks on the legs as well in fishing spiders as you can with others. But you can see, you can tell that they're still there. With fishing spiders it looks more like a spike. Unless it's just a really thick hair. They are very fuzzy under the microscope. So, like out when when you're not zoomed in on them, they don't look that fuzzy. But through a microscope, they look almost like tarantulas. Honestly, can I can I find it again, please? Hey, that's Mini Muffin's first molt. All right, this molt is from my bark crab spider. This was this was her first molt. I like with Mini Muffin. Hey, this one, this is the face. You can see all the eyes. See, so like eyelashes. They do have a really beautiful pattern. You can't see that unless you look under the microscope. But they do have a really pretty pattern. If I can get back to the head, please. Yeah, it's hard to see that under the microscope because they are a pretty small spider. Not as small as like goblin spiders, but they, these are pretty small. I think it's this, I think it was the crab spiders, you can see the uh, leg hooks a lot better. Stop flashing, please. I'll try and find the, try and find the end of its leg without blinding everyone. Yeah, with you can see it a lot better with crab spiders because I think I think what it is with fishing spiders is the ends like the claws on their legs look more straight. Like almost like harpoons. But yeah, you can see here with crab spiders it's more of like an actual hook. That that probably explains why my crab spider can climb the plastic. It's got those. I kind of wonder if it's just juveniles that have that. I'll probably look at a big wolf spider molten check. With this, with this molt, this one was Reaper's last molt. I'm not looking at the fangs under the microscope because this is not going to fit under there. But, yeah, I might have to zoom in, but turn the flash on so it's better quality. You can see her fangs pretty good. It's like a tiny tarantula molt. She's got big fangs. And she's probably about double that size. Turn the flash back off. And under here, like what I was talking about. It's fun. Yeah, you can see it's a really sharp claw. So it is, I think it is straight in the juveniles for whatever reason. But then as they get older, it kind of curves. And turns into an actual claw. I haven't seen this with other spiders, but you can see there's like a bunch of... It looks almost like a comb under it. I don't know why that's for it. Probably helps them grip better. But I haven't actually, I haven't seen Reaper climb the plastic, so that's, yeah, I don't know. Oh, something else that I found while I was looking for the end of its, like the claws at the end of its legs, 
actually found it looks like a spike on the knee and I thought huh do they have claws on their knees it's just their thick hair ooh I can I can actually zoom in on the microscope it's probably not the best idea I'll probably I'll get like still images of these and I'll, I'll put them after I'm done explaining everything so you guys don't have a seizure Sorry if I offended anybody. Please don't cancel me. I haven't I have not actually looked at this one under the microscope. But yeah, this is a praying mantis molt that I found. You can see the eye. I don't know if you can see in the video, yeah, you can see all the lenses, like, in the eyes, because they, they're kind of like flies where they have a whole bunch of lenses, so it looks kind of strange, like scales almost. Yeah, you can see with, like, with spiders, it's just a really smooth eye cover. They don't have a whole bunch of lenses. So anyways, that's gonna yeah, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, this is the molt box. I showed most of them in here. Uh, showed Reaper, a crab spider, and a praying mantis. Uh, let's see, mini muffins first molt. I think that was actually it. And then a couple of spiders. I'll probably show crayfish molts in the future. Yeah, if, if you guys want me to look at anything else under the microscope, please let me know in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.